നമസ്കാരം ഹൗസ് ബ്രാൻഡ് സിംഗപ്പൂർ ടേസ്റ്റിലേക്ക് എല്ലാവർക്കും സ്വാഗതം നമ്മൾ ഇപ്പോൾ ഇവിടെ നിൽക്കുന്നത് സിംഗപ്പൂരിലത്തെ വളരെ ഫേമസ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു ഫ്രഞ്ച് റെസ്റ്റോറൻറ്റ് ബ്ലാക്ക് ഷീപ്പ് കെഫേലാണ് ഫ്രഞ്ച് ക്വിസീൻ ഇസ് വെരി ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് ബിക്കോസ് ഇറ്റ് ഹസ് ഗോട്ട് ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ഫ്ലേവേഴ്സ് ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ലേയേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഫ്രഞ്ച് അനിയൻ സൂപ്പ് പിന്നെ ഭയങ്കര ഫേമസ് ആണ് എല്ലാവരും കേട്ടിട്ടുണ്ട് എല്ലാവരും കഴിച്ചിട്ടും ഉണ്ടാവും ബട്ട് ലെറ്റ് സീ ദി ഒത്തൻറ്റിക് വേ ഓഫ് പ്രിപ്പയറിങ് ഇറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് വെരി വെരി സിമ്പിൾ ടു കുക്ക് and to eat also apo nammalku ivadathe chef chef rathene parijayapadam he is going to show you some interesting uh, french recipes let us welcome him to our show hello chef hello so uh, we have already told them that you are going to show us uh, french onion soup so let's see how to do it and the ingredients needed for them okay first thing uh, you need onions we use okay. white onions okay thinly sliced as right. thin as possible okay a bit of corn oil corn oil chicken stock Okay. Right. It's And how to make the chicken stock dark? Basically when you make a stock, uh, if you want a light stock, uh, you you just don't roast the uh, vegetables and the chicken bones too much. Right? Here you want a dark one, so you roast it as dark as possible. Okay. And then you just cover it with water and just let it simmer. Okay. You get a dark stock. Okay. And this can be kept in the freezer frozen okay. and you can just take it Use out it whenever you, you need it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Right. This is actually a parmesan cheese. Mhm. You just have to like put it on a non-stick pan mm-hmm. and just let it uh, fry. Thinly sliced? No, parmesan cheese comes in a powder. Oh, okay. Yeah, and you can just uh, put it on a pan and put it in the oven if you want. Okay. Until it just melts and after that you just let it cool down. Uh, yes. Can I take and have a look at it? Yep. Okay. And these are going to be used as a garnish? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Appi French onion soup ivide garnish cheyanayittu oru prathega ingredient ivide ready aakittunde. And this is actually parmesan cheese. Nammala grated parmesan cheese market la vaangikille. Adana idu. Adu verde a grated parmesan cheese ingane oven le ingane oru baking sheet le ingane thoovi kazhinj kenjittundengil adu melt aavu. അത് മെൽറ്റായി അത് ഒന്ന് കൂൾ ഡൗൺ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ അതിങ്ങനെ ചെറിയ തിൻ ഷീറ്റായിട്ട് നമ്മൾക്ക് അത് എടുക്കാം ആ അവൻ ബേക്കിംഗ് ഷീറ്റിൻ്റെ മുകളിൽ നിന്ന് ആൻഡ് ഇഫ് യു ഡോണ്ട് ഹാവ് എൻ അവൻ അറ്റ് ഹോം യു കെൻ ഡു ദിസ് ഓൺ എ പാൻ ഓൾസോ ഓൺ എ നോൺ പാൻ ഓൺ എ നോൺ സ്റ്റിക് പാൻ ഓൾസോ എന്തായാലും ഞാനിത് പരീക്ഷിക്കും ലെറ്റ് സി ഹൗ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഗോയിങ് ടു ലുക്ക് ഓൺ ടോപ്പ് ഓഫ് ദി സൂപ്പ് യപ്പ് The ingredients are very basic. We very, are very not basic. Uh, going into no. any complicated no. ingredients, no. isn't it? I, I'll We give you some have... options later, but okay. that's optional. Mm. Yeah. So first you have the pan. Mm. So a bit of, just a bit of corn oil. Okay. Is corn oil important? Can we use any other neutral oil? Neutral oil, but not like palm oil. Yeah. Okay. Uh, because uh, that will harden on top and it's not oh, healthy. Okay. So sunflower, canola sunflower, oil is canola good. Sunflower, canola oil is fine. Okay. പാം ഓയിൽ ഒഴിച്ച് ബാക്കി ഏത് ഓയിൽ വേണമെങ്കിലും ഈ സൂപ്പിന് യൂസ് ചെയ്യാം എന്നാണ് ഷെഫ് പറയുന്നത് ഇനിയിപ്പോൾ കോൺ ഓയിൽ ഇല്ല എന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ സൺഫ്ലവർ ഓയിലോ കനോല ഓയിലോ യൂസ് ചെയ്യാം ആൻഡ് ഷെഫ് ഹാസ് ആഡ് വെരി തിൻലി സ്ലൈസ് അനിയൻ ഇൻ ടു ദ ഓയിൽ ഫ്രഷ് അനിയൻ സൂപ്പ് അല്ലേ അപ്പോൾ പിന്നെ അനിയൻ ഇസ് ദ മെയിൻ ഇൻഗ്രീഡിയൻ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ബീൻ വെരി തിൻലി സ്ലൈസ് വൈറ്റ് അനിയൻസ് ആണ് ആക്ച്വലി ദ അനിയൻസ് ഹാവ് ടു ബി വെരി തിൻലി സ്ലൈസ് ഇനീഷ്യലി ഇസ് ക്വൈറ്റ് ഹൈ ഹീറ്റ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ദാറ്റ് യു മസ്റ്റ് മേക്ക് ഇറ്റ് മീഡിയം ഹീറ്റ് ഓർ ഈവൻ അ ബിറ്റ് ലോ so that uh, what we call uh, onion has a bit of sugar in it mm-hmm. especially this white onion yes. so what happens is it will start to caramelize by itself oh. so that is the most important part of making the soup okay. it, you don't want it to make it too brown okay. which is burnt mm-hmm. but you see as you can see the colors coming up yes. then you need to lower the heat a little bit mm. so the trick is it's starting to brown but uh not too fast if it's too fast then it's going to get actually burn taste you don't get a caramelized so, taste we have to adjust heat accordingly yes. okay yes. or you can do a very simple thing just remove remove yes yes, yes. it should turn slightly brown pashe adu vallanda angada dark brown onnu avarudu angane avanu onnu thoniya just pan onnu lift here and take it away from the heat chef your uh, restaurant is called black sheep cafe and what a what a unique name how did you come up with this name black sheep Actually uh, uh, when I was in hotel school there's a little bit of uh, I'm proud to be Indian. Okay. Uh, there's a bit of a color factor as well. And yeah. I was the only Indian in the whole intake. Oh. Okay. I was the youngest as well. Mhm. So, you know, black sheep was a bit of a nickname. <laughs> Some call me black forest. Okay. Yeah, and uh, so that black thing, you know, kind of uh, stuck, stuck on me. Stuck. Okay. And actually uh, this has been covered in the press many times. They yeah. always ask me this question. Yeah. The day that I decided, you know, that I wanted to do something, open this small cafe. Mhm. It was a major blackout. The last major blackout in Singapore. Was on that day? It was on that day that I'm thinking of the name. So black, black sheep then. Black sheep cafe. Yeah. 
and how successful has it been, isn't it? It's been so far so good. So far so, so good. Far, so and good. Uh, I've heard the a lot of great reviews about your restaurant Correct. from I'm everywhere. The chef doesn't do any sort of advertisement, nothing. Everything is word of mouth. Word of mouth is a part of advertisement and it's um, the most famous French restaurant here in Singapore, isn't it? One of the famous Just, ones. just uh, word of mouth. Like, uh, for example, even the reviews that we have got so far, that's one of the things I'm quite proud about. Mm. None of them were paid. I didn't pay a single yeah. cent. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but I was very lucky that they really liked it. Yeah. And especially the major press, television as well. Mm. And uh, so that is, uh, I must say I was very spoiled <laughs> in that sense. So now that it's become a culture, I try my best not to advertise. Okay. Yeah. So as you can see, yep. it's starting to get brown. Yep, yep. Yeah, but the whole trick is to not allow it to get too brown too fast. So this is the correct? A bit more actually. A bit more. A okay. bit more. Okay. So as you can see, actually the ingredients are very little. Mm, very that's few. What, yes. It depends on the situation. Some people like to put brandy actually. Brandy? It, okay. it classically, if you want, uh, you know, if you're able to take alcohol, you can put brandy. You can put it last minute into the soup bowl. Okay. That's better. Okay. Mm. So it's more or less ready. Okay. okay. So, if you have a caramelized look, it's a caramelized look. That is the uh, key part of this recipe, according to Chef. So it's somewhat dark. Okay. Yeah. Then you add. We have chicken stock. We can also use other stock uh, if we want. If you are a vegetarian, yes, you, you can, can use vegetarian you stock. Can. Like some people will do a shortcut and actually put like maybe like soya sauce. Okay. But I I recommend not to put soya sauce. You okay. just just to just for the color, is it? Yes, but oh. you can just brown the onions a little bit more. So that yeah. the color is maintained. Correct. You just brown the onions a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And uh, that should be enough actually. Okay. Upon the vegetable stock and a chicken stock in a pagadam, you see, and then the English eat color of kitten item. Chella alagala soya sauce adium, but chef is not recommending that. What he says is, Ningal ka color of kitten and then the onions of korchum would have brown akiamadi. Upper finally eat color like you So now we have to wait for it to burn. The, so it depends. If it's young kids, then you don't want to put so much pepper. This is black pepper, fresh right. black pepper. Yes. Uh, but for, for adults, you can actually put quite a bit of this. Mm -hmm. And this is the best uh, freshly ground. It's whole black pepper inside. Right. And then you just grind it. Yeah. Pepper it too. Very, very light. Only. We are adding a little bit of the thickening agent. In French, it is called roux. R O U X. And adding to Lilla, Ella, and the Kiana change it to Nigi melted butter and plain flour and good and mix it to Lilla, other even to like a fortune add it. Just let it reduce a little bit. Uh, so, there's a common term used in French cooking, it's called reduction. Okay. Reduction means you reduce everything right. until you get the flavor just right. If you over reduce, you may get something very salty, mm. right? The flavor is too intense. Right. So, and it's very simple. If it becomes like that, you think it's a bit salty. You just add butter. I mean, sorry, oh, water. Water. A bit of water. So it's pretty much done. Okay. Yep. Because why you can't take it too fast? The onions will be a bit too hard, too crunchy. You want it to be like very soft. The onions. Oh, the be, onions shouldn't be crunchy. Shouldn't be. Okay. Yeah. If if you want a bit of crunchy effect, then there's a simple trick. You brown the onions and add a little bit more halfway through. Ah, so okay. some will be totally soft, some will be a bit more crunchy. Okay. So that's it. And uh, this is a soup that is, uh, must be drank uh, really hot. Mm. Yeah, like in restaurants, uh, we make it a point to do this. We actually put the whole bowl in the oven until ah. it's very hot. Okay. Then we put it in a dish yep. and when you put the, the soup inside, mm. it serves super hot. So basically it's done. So now it's done. Because basically, chef says that this soup is not really thick. It is a thin consistency of soup. Yes, so what you need to do? These are the bread sticks. Yeah. Simple bread sticks. Toasted. Yes. That's it. And that's it. And we have garnish the toasted bread sticks and parmesan grated uh, toasts. Yes. Isn't it? Yes. 
and how lovely it looks. And look at the unique way of garnishing the French onion soup with the toasted breadsticks and parmesan toast. Lovely. It looks absolutely amazing. Okay, chef, I'm going to taste this now. French onion soup. Mmm. Very good. Lovely. And now let me have this. The Parmesan toasts. Lovely. If you want to try it, you can use it in the same way. You can use it in the same way. You can use it in the same way. You can try it in the same way. You can use it in the same way. And you can use it in the same way. Because it is very easy. You just pour some grated parmesan on an oven in the baking sheet. You can use it in the same way. It will melt. You can use it in the same way. Garnish your soup with that and it tastes really nice. Mmm. Lovely chef. Thank you so much for coming on our show. Welcome. 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 Welcome.